I upsized the chep cube to make a Christmas ornament, but in the process, I got sagging under the letters. I'll show you how I fixed it on today's Film It Friday. Film It Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also sponsored by Creality3Dofficial.com by ComGrow. I want to have some fun to just make a chep cube ornament for our Christmas tree. Tinkercad includes a 3D print designed to hold a coin cell and an LED. They also include a cutaway that you can take any STL file, insert the cutaway, group it together, and now you have space to stick the LED and light anything up. So I upsized a chep cube to 40 by 40 by 40 millimeters, and I cut out an opening plus a couple bars to hold this thing so I could light up the chep cube as an ornament. Now I went a bit further and I actually cut out a square space inside which left just like a millimeter behind every letter. That way it had a solid backing for the letters but real thin so it glow from the LED. I added a loop at the top so I could install a hook and I also made one that was at the corner so I could hang this thing at an angle. I decided to use some protopasta candy apple red metal flake filament. To me this says Christmas. I brought the cube into Cura and I'm going to slice it with my new version 5.2 Good Profile. If you're interested in getting this profile, stay tuned to the end. I'll show you how you can get it for free. I'm going to raise the temperature to 215 for this particular filament and I'm also going to modify the seam setting to place it at the back corner. I sliced it and it said it would take just over three hours to print. And looking in preview mode, you can see that the seam is right at the corner and the back of the chep cube. To print this, I'm going to use an Ender 3 Neo with some nice features for $219 from Creality3Dofficial.com. Here's a time lapse of it printing, but I didn't see the problem until it was done. The enlarged CHEP cube had sagging at each of the letters of CHEP. This was a design flaw, not a slicer flaw. The top of the C was fine, and it's got a post on each side so you can bridge across nicely. The same as the H, top of the H. Posts on each side, bridge across. But here in the middle of the H, there's no post to build from. And also on the C, there's a post on one side, but not on the other, and that's where it sags. So I needed to fix the design. Here it is in Tinkercad, and if I flip it up, you can see my fix. In green, what I built were little ramps. Just small little ramps underneath to give it support, an angled support. Here it is from the side. You can see it builds up from the back, and goes up to the tip at a slight angle. And I made it 0.4 millimeters tall, so it's basically two layers high. You can do this on any design. Just import it into Tinkercad, and then use this roof element to create the ramp. To make this easier, I moved the build plate down to the inside of the letter, so I'm working from that same surface. Then I could drop this roof element and then resize it and shape it to fit in that spot. And then basically I just copy and pasted that or duplicated it for all the other letters and then grouped them all together. And then you can't even tell they're there. It's such a small ramp, you don't even know it's there. But when it slices, it builds a small ramp going up to the bottom of that letter and completely supports it. So then when you print it, here's the difference. Here's before and here's after and you can see the sag is gone. So it works really well. You can do this on any 3D print. While the CHEP cube was printing on the Ender 3 Neo, I printed the LED holder on an Ender 2 Pro that I also got from Creality3Dofficial.com. I used some leftover red PLA filament and it came out great. Now let me show you how to assemble this. The base has a positive marking. Slide a 2032 coin cell with a positive side towards that marking. Then the positive lead of the LED goes into the slot that's on top on that same side, and the LED will glow. Then just pop it into the cube, and you have your glowing Christmas ornament. My camera could not pick up how good this thing looks. It's actually very balanced in lighting, and it looked good on the tree. So if you're looking at getting a 3D printer for Christmas, I suggest you check out Reality3Dofficial.com by ComGrow has the full lineup of Creality machines, including filament, and you can even buy in bulk and build your print farm right from Creality3Dofficial.com. I'm going to post this on Thangs.com so you can download it and print it for free if you want. I'll put a link to that in the description below. They also have a remix feature now, so you can remix my design any which way you want. If you do that, Post it on Twitter so I can see what you guys did. If you're interested in the profile, the version 5.2 good profile that I used, I'm going to include it as a support file with this 
on thangs.com. So when you download it, you get that profile, but it's only going to be there to the end of the year. It's a Christmas gift for all my viewers. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up here. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.